Hi there guys, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and this is the tech news of the day. Before we get started, hit the like button or dislike button. It really helps the channel. With that said, JBL has launched a new product in India, it's, which is called the JBL Live Beam 3. This is how it looks. It's a pair of true wireless earbuds. And the interesting thing is it comes with a display on the charging case, 1.4 inch display, and you can interact with it. You can increase or decrease the volume. You can change the equalizer settings and you can also find the buds. This was an interesting product which was launched in China before in India and I kind of showed it in our video, hoped it will come to India and it did came. So do you plan to buy such a product? Do let us know by commenting below this video. By the way, this product is priced at 25,000 rupees. That's the MRP, but it's going to be sold at 14,000 rupees. And as an introductory price, you'd also get a thousand rupees discount. So let me know if you're interested in a product like this, like seeing products with a touch interface on the charging case. Do let me know. There's a feature called listen to this page on Google Chrome for a very long time, but that was on Google Chrome beta. Now it's officially launched on Google Chrome. So whenever you're browsing on your Google Chrome, if you're lazy to read an article, you can just click a button and listen to the article. It works really well. I have been using this feature on Chrome beta for a very long time, and now it's finally on Google Chrome. Definitely do try it. There's a brand called Beavakov in India. I hope you know about it. They're partnered up with Google Cloud and they are bringing AI powered customizable t-shirts. You basically have a prompt and you type whatever you want. And within 20 seconds, they'll make a design or an image that you can use on your t-shirt. Every user that registers with them will get like 40 tokens or 40 chances. And these two are something that I made like within a minute. So this is definitely a pretty cool feature and the t-shirts that are made with AI will cost you 549 rupees. That's probably the starting price. If you're really interested, you can check Beokov. Beokov. More on AI once again, there's a company called Luma AI. They've launched a new AI powered text to video generation platform. It's called Dream Machine. Now this is a website. They have a lot of sample shots or demos and they all look really impressive. And the best thing about this particular platform is you get the real thing. Like you don't get a cartoon animation, but you get a very authentic real time footage kind of a thing. And this is a small footage that I made, which also looks pretty cool. You just get a five second footage, but the platform really works and you get what you ask for. Not 100% accurate, but you do get whatever you ask for. And I must say this particular platform can really elevate the way people can do storytelling. And it's definitely going to be very useful for content creators. So let's see how far it goes. Do you remember Google's magic editor? Now this was a premium feature that Google has offered with the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro. Now it's available for literally everyone. If you're using an older Pixel phone, you can get this Google magic editor for free. And for other devices, say like Samsung or any other device, you can still use this magic editor on Google photos, but you can only save like 10 photos per month. If you want to use more, you have to get at least a 2 TB Google One subscription that costs like 6,500 rupees, I guess, per year. Anyway, this magic editor is super cool. It gives you features like magic eraser. You can blur photos, unblur photos and change portrait lighting. You can move objects. It's super cool. And I've just tested it on my Pixel 4 and it works without any hiccups. Like it takes a bit of time for processing, but it still works. Maybe in a six months or a year, we might get it completely for free. Let's see what happens. Asus ROG has launched the latest gaming laptop in India. It's called the Zephyrus G14 2024. That's the latest edition. It comes with the AMD Ryzen 9 processor, NVIDIA RTX 4070 GPU. It starts at 1,75,000 rupees. You can have the RTX 4070 GPU, 16 GB of LPDDR5X RAM, 1 TB of M2 NVMe storage. It's a super high-end gaming laptop. If you're interested, do check it out. By the way, the prices vary based on the specifications that you choose. And it starts at 1,75,000 rupees. That's like an MRP. You can probably bargain if it's a store or get better discounts if it's online. Now for some rumors, Samsung Galaxy Tab S10 Plus has been spotted with a MediaTek Dimensity 9300 Plus processor. Now this Dimensity 9300 Plus processor is definitely pretty good, pretty powerful, but I personally prefer to have a Snapdragon processor, at least on the premium flagship models. Like in India, Samsung S24 and S24 Plus came with a Exynos processor, while the S24 Ultra came with the Snapdragon processor. And there was a bit of a difference in performance between both phones. So. I would actually prefer if you could avoid that. And by the way, on that note, S25 lineup series, that's all the S25 phones will be coming with the Snapdragon processor. Anyway, about the S10 Plus, it's probably gonna be coming with a Dimensity processor. So let's see what happens. By the way, what do you think about this move from Samsung? Let us know by commenting below this video. YouTube is testing a new feature where you can actually add notes 
to videos. Like anybody can just add a note, type whatever you want and send. Now all these notes will be checked by actual people, probably in the initial stages, and they can tag it with helpful, somewhat helpful and not helpful. And all those helpful notes can show up under your videos. Now this is definitely a pretty cool feature. We are already seeing this notes feature on Google web search. Like you can add notes to websites. So what do you think about this new feature? If you like it, hit the like button, or if you don't even know what it's about, hit the dislike button. Okay, CMF Phone 1 is official. It's going to be launching in India on July 8th along with two new products. They're going to be CMF Buds Pro 2 and the CMF Watch Pro 2. They've released the small teaser and this is all we have. The left one is probably the lanyard ring for Buds Pro 2 case and the right one is probably for the phone. And the center one is probably the ring for the watch. What do you think? Let me know by commenting below this video. Vivo is going to be launching a new phone called the Vivo T3 Lite 5G in India pretty soon. It might come with a Diamond's T6300 processor and it's going to be launched in the 12,000 rupees price segment. Now, this phone is going to be directly competing with phones like Realme, Narzo, Realme N65, C65, those phones. Anyway, if you're looking to buy the best phone around 12,000 rupees, Ico Xenon X should be your top pick. Today's app of the day is Push Bullet. Now this particular application is available for Windows, Chrome and Android. It's not available for iOS, don't ask me why. I guess it was available earlier, but I guess there were not a lot of users, so they stopped developing it. Anyway, it's available for Android, Windows and Chrome. And this is actually one of the most awesome applications out there. It allows us to easily share files, links, literally anything between your phone, PC and Chrome browser. That's not all. You can actually add your browser to the list, your tablet or multiple phones and easily send any link from anywhere. Like for example, I can easily send a link from my phone to my Chrome browser or the Windows PC or my tablet just with few clicks. Everything is very intuitive. That's not all. You can also add your own friends. You have to enter the email ID. They should be using Pushbullet as well. And you can easily send files, links, images, anything with just a right click. Like if you're using it on a Google Chrome, you wanna send a link to your friend, just right click, send to so and so, and it's done. I know you probably have like a hundred or a thousand contacts on your phone, but mostly you'll be sharing things between a very close few people like probably five or 10 people. You can add them to Pushbullet and easily share all kinds of data with them. Okay, you might think of applications like WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger or other apps. Okay, that works if you're using your phone. But if you have to send a link or a nice movie trailer from your browser, then that's where Pushbullet comes in. It's super handy and it's everywhere and it's super easy to use. And most importantly, it's free and there are literally no ads. That's another thing I love about this. So guys, that's all for this video. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like this video or any of the content, or if you don't like me, hit the dislike button. It really helps the channel. Like if you could comment, it helps our channel a lot. And if you click the subscribe button, it does help. Like it does really help. So guys, that's it for this video. See you tomorrow.